Hi, my name is Ali Keegan, and I'm a criminal defense attorney at the Law Office of David Shapiro in San Diego, where we help good people regain control of their future when charged with a crime. I want to talk a little bit about who actually prosecutes you in a criminal case or after a criminal investigation, because there's a myth out there, or some people tend to think that if you are accused of doing something illegal, but your accuser then changes their mind or decides not to pursue it, that that's the end of it. And unfortunately, that's just not the case. Once it's been reported or brought to law enforcement's attention, the wheels are already in motion and law enforcement can still continue to investigate independently and look into it, even without your accuser's help or cooperation. And they can also look into things that weren't even reported by the quote unquote victim themselves. So if you are accused of rape, say, and your, the person you're accused of raping didn't even report it, but it was a mandatory reporter or a friend or someone like that, if law enforcement does find it somewhat believable or wants to look into it further, they can absolutely do that whether the person you're accused of assaulting is cooperating or not. So once the cat's out of the bag and things are in motion, it's very, very hard to take back at that stage and you want to be careful not to just sit back and let it happen without taking action by hiring a very skilled and locally experienced criminal defense firm to help you navigate that process. So what law enforcement does when they investigate is they determine whether there's probable cause. Maybe they want to make an arrest then and there or they want to forward it to the prosecutor's office for um, their own review assuming the prosecutors don't already have the case or aren't looking into it on their own. But ultimately, it's up to the prosecutor's office to determine whether or not they wanna file criminal charges against you. And again, they can consider whether or not the alleged victim is cooperating and they can consider whether the alleged victim wants to see anything come of it. But the decision is ultimately up to that prosecutor which in San Diego County would be the district attorney's office or the city attorney's office. If it's a state case or if it's a federal case, it would be up to the U.S. attorney's office for the Southern District of California. So just because your accuser has recanted or changed their mind doesn't necessarily mean you're in the clear. And that can definitely feel a little bit helpless at the beginning, but with the help of a skilled and experienced criminal defense firm, you still have options where they can help you get your story across, give law enforcement or the prosecutor's office the bigger picture. So they're not just steering one side of the story, but they're doing it in a very tactical manner. That's not gonna harm you down the road or harm your criminal case because nothing your attorney says on your behalf can be used against you as evidence. So I wanted to clear up that misconception, let you know who's actually making the decisions but even though it's not your accuser that makes the final call as to whether or not to charge you, doesn't mean that all hope is lost. There are still things you can do with the right team in your corner. And if you are currently being investigated or your case is under review with the DA's office, city attorney's office, US attorney's office, whatever it may be, go ahead and give us a call to set up a consultation. Our phone number is 619-295-3555.